Another day, and unfortunately another two EV fires, one of which highlights a frequent characteristic of lithium-ion battery fires and why they can be so much worse than regular car fires. In general, fire tends to rise vertically as the air is hotter than the surrounding air and therefore less dense. An ordinary car fire is therefore unlikely to do much damage to neighbouring structures unless parked very close to flammable objects or the structure is directly above. In contrast, the lithium-ion battery of an EV is contained in a rigid steel box in order to prevent damage from impacts. But if one of the cells fails, heats up and starts to release gases, that container will initially prevent those gases escaping and the pressure will rise. Eventually, as more cells join the thermal runaway party, the gas will eventually find a way out of the battery container somehow. But at that point, it will be under such high pressure that it will escape as a very high velocity jet that can travel several meters away from the car. If that jet then catches fire, it becomes a flamethrower, which will set fire to anything and some distance away. Still want to charge your EV in your driveway? think again. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer, now Sydney-based YouTuber. Please make sure you've clicked that subscribe button down below and enabled all notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, why not buy me a coffee? Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. We've got stories from Wales and Canada in this video, and we'll come on to the factory fire in a minute. But first, an EV has spontaneously caught fire in a shopping centre car park in British Columbia causing all the usual problems for the firefighters. Electric vehicle explosion causes significant traffic delays in Abbotsford. Main entrance to Costco parking was closed as Abbotsford Fire Rescue Service dealt with blaze. An electric vehicle that exploded and caught fire in Abbotsford caused significant traffic delays in a popular shopping area on Saturday, according to the Abbotsford Police Department. The incident happened in or near the parking lot of Costco on Sumas Way where Abbotsford Fire Rescue Service was called to the blaze on May the 31st. The main entrance to the Costco parking lot is currently closed as Abbotsford Fire Rescue Service AFRS deals with a vehicle fire, Abbey PD stated on social media at 3.17pm. Police were dispatched to the scene at 1.24pm following reports of an electric vehicle explosion. Fortunately, no injuries have been reported. Firefighters were expected to remain on scene for an extended period to fully extinguish the fire and ensure safety, Abbey PD added. Please anticipate significant delays in the area. Yes, because unlike a regular car fire that you can extinguish with a garden hose, once the battery gets going into thermal runaway, it's often best just to let the thing burn out completely, rather than be left with a partly burned battery with some cells intact but with internal damage that might catch fire again days or weeks later. The downside of letting it burn is the fact that you're releasing vast quantities of highly toxic gases like hydrogen cyanide into the atmosphere, and all that runoff from the water will be heavily contaminated with similarly toxic heavy metals, which should really be contained and removed to avoid it leaching into the groundwater. But I bet that process doesn't happen often in reality in the midst of a raging fire. And in Wales, we see an electric vehicle destroy an adjacent building, likely because of the intense nature of battery fires. Welsh Pool factory fire was caused by electric vehicle. Crews from five Powys fire stations were called out to a fire in the early hours of Saturday morning, May 31st, which saw an electric vehicle catch fire and spread to a nearby factory in Welsh Pool. Mid and West Wales Fire and Rescue Service, crews from Welshpool, Montgomery, Llanfair, Cairinan, Lanfillan and Newtown fire stations were called to the instant in Buttington. MWWFRS said the Powys crews were assisted by Shropshire Fire and Rescue Service. At 1.09am on Saturday, May 31st, crews responded to a fire involving one electric vehicle, said an MWWFRS spokesperson. The fire had spread to a nearby commercial property, measuring approximately 10 metres by 10 metres. Crews utilised one vehicle fire blanket, four breathing apparatus sets, one main jet, two hose reel jets, and established a water shuttle system to extinguish the fire. 
The vehicle was severely damaged by fire and heat damage was caused to the commercial property. Crews left the scene at 3.16am. And because an EV was involved, it took five crews to attend. If you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you'll know that I believe that the insurance aspects of EVs will eventually put a break on their mad expansion. Will the vehicle insurer be happy to cough up for an entire factory because it was destroyed by a burning EV? I believe this can only go on for so long before the actuaries start getting their calculators out and re-evaluating the risks. As the EV fleet increases in both size and age, these fires, if they're allowed to be reported on that is, will inevitably increase in frequency. Thanks very much for watching, really hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any tips or stories, go there. If you'd like to watch another video, go there. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, go there. And please subscribe to the channel.